Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today it's a little bit different. Um, we book ourselves for uh, a flight back to the Philippines and I wanted to share with you how the process goes with the Philippine airline. I mean, I think it's not just Philippine airline, but any other airline uh, because of the Philippine protocol with this COVID. And uh, so just be prepared if, uh, if it's not very uh, important or, you know, um, if it's just for fun, I think I suggest you just stay home, <laughs> stay here in the Philippines, in Canada, I mean, because uh, the process is really, uh, it's too much for us. I don't know you guys, maybe um, for other people, maybe it's nothing, but uh, uh, it's, it's just overwhelming. So, you know. Anyway, this is uh, what uh, the Philippine Airline uh, sent us. So you have to pre-book your COVID test. This is the online thing. So you have to do it online. Or this is when you needed your agent. If you book with an agent, I think it's really smart because then anything changes. Because uh, day by day, it's almost like there's changes. I our flight like there's uh i don't know maybe two three times uh change so it's if if we did it ourselves i think it will be like you know just forget it you know just cancel and stay home so anyway so this is it and then you have to book your hotel uh for seven days six nights um and it should be accredited by the uh, uh approved or approved by DOH like Department of Health in the Philippines uh, it should be on the on their list otherwise you know it will be a question if if you just find a hotel and you stay there you know that's not acceptable and also uh, the passengers locator what's that it's blurry form and Canada waiver form So, um, this is the Philippine Airline, uh, you know, baggage allowances. Of course, you know, if you travel back to the Philippines, there's always a luggage allowances. So, now you have the two, two pieces, uh, that's for the economy there. 50 pounds, that is 23 kilograms, two pieces each. And uh, also the uh, hand carry only one piece and then it's seven kilograms so by the way guys you know that uh, you have to stay in manila for or wherever your port of entry you have to stay there for at least 10 days so be sure to carry uh, stuff that you needed uh, in the hotel although you have to be responsible of all your uh how do you call this accommodation i mean not accommodation um you have to pay the hotel and by your own expense and uh, they will provide you the the all the meals and of course the accommodation right so that's 10 days so um i guess you just have to accept whatever they give you right and so now uh these are apparently philippine airline is uh, they have now the rules of uh, uh, uh what's what they call it um not doing the by themselves you have to do it yourself that's less thing so uh, you have to board if you got your boarding pass you have to do it yourself and this is the they have the instruction here you just have to follow so we'll find out later right so uh, there and and this one here is the example okay so there's so many things that are actually changing you just have to be um, focused and uh, uh, all all the paperwork I guess you have to complete so that when you arrive in the at the airport you're not panicking right you have everything and just be sure that everything is uh, is completed so these are the uh, paperwork also that we have to uh, fill up uh, declaration form uh, there's some questionnaire there, and you have to fill that up. Another one is um, one-stop shop, whatever they call it, passengers uh, undertaking. 
uh, there's also a lot of question there that you needed to uh, fill up. Um, another one is the uh, this one here. Declaration, release, and waiver. So, passenger health uh, locator form. So these are all in for the Philippines, and uh, it's just you have to uh, don't forget anything, okay? Because that is very important. And this is the big one here. This this is the one that you have to uh, uh, fill up online, okay? Uh, so, and you have to pay your this is the swab test and you have to pay 3000 pesos okay so uh, uh, and that is uh, like a, a health pass and you have a uh, what do you call this like number and it will it will show you so um, uh, if it's successful then it will say successful right so that's that's uh, how quick it is if you know what you're doing So guys, um, it's just, uh, I think you have to be more focused on what you're doing and uh, uh, don't panic. And I think uh, when you're younger, I think it's like, maybe it's nothing. But you know, when, you, when, you're, when you're not a millennial, uh, we're seniors, right? <laughs> I mean, I have to accept it, but it's, uh, for us, it's really stressful. And um, so, just follow the protocols. Also, uh, you needed your, uh, what do you call this, um, vaccination passport, right? For like our Canadian uh, uh, passport, you have to uh, remember that, that you needed it too. Uh, you don't, we don't need a swab test from here. It has to be done in the Philippines. Also, um, what else? Um, hmm. There's something else that I wanted to. Oh, if you guys, anybody that are um, married to a Canadian, or you're married here in Canada, you have to bring your uh, married uh, marriage contract, which is uh, the original. Uh, your husband has to be with you. Uh, he can go there by himself, or if he does, he needed all this form that. Uh, uh, what do you call to, to be uh, uh, to provide him the uh, how do you call this um, all the 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 question that the government will ask he has to provide the information right so he has to have uh, proof and even if uh, you are with your spouse you have to bring everything just in case it's crazy right so just you know uh, to be uh, to be sure and prepared that you don't miss anything. That's why I said it's better to have a um, an agent because they know most of the, the stuff that you needed and uh, you have somebody to rely on, okay? So I think um, all in all, if you take it easy and, and uh, don't stress too much, I think it's not too bad. But you know, um, it's always uh, there's always something behind right that uh, maybe you forget and all that so and also i was uh, watching somebody uh, staying in the hotel in manila and uh, they were saying that because you will be you'll be staying there for 10 days maybe you have to have the stuff that you want uh, to take with you you know maybe coffee your coffee you needed it because uh, hey you know if you love your coffee you have to have it for 10 days, right? Something like that. And uh, what else? Maybe some snackies, you know? Um, and of course, uh, for me, I'm a freak, uh, uh, what do you call this? I like towels, I don't use uh, hotel towels. I like to bring my own and bed sheets. So those are the things that maybe some of you guys wanted to, uh, to think of uh, to be taken with you. So um, be sure to have those in your luggage and, uh, and uh, maybe, you know, don't have uh, to bring a lot of nice stuff. It's just more for uh, staying inside the hotel because we're not going anywhere. You have to be there for 10 days in the hotel. Okay. So guys, this is all for now. 
um, anybody that are going through this too, good luck to you. And uh, I hope uh, your flight is not too bad. We're hoping ours is not too. So um, that's it. We'll see what's going to happen. Okay. So if you like my uh, video today, please hit like. You can share and uh, hit that bell too and subscribe. Okay, guys. Bye-bye. See you again.